What is up players? You've nine to the playground. If you're new, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. My name is MJ. I'm reacting to EJ is 18. He told me he has been homeless for 11 years. I don't know what to expect. I think this is someone that's going to be interviewing a 18 year old who's been homeless since he's seven. Like, I can't even imagine what that's like. Like, think about like what you're like, how you are when you're seven years old, you know? I'm interested to hear the story. If you guys are ready as well, give me a thumbs up and let's press play. Here on and look, he's like chilling about it. Last night? last night I slept in Universal City Station till about five, and then I got kicked out and I slept in Hollywood and Highland for till about eight. I woke up, yeah, and the night before that I was under a bridge, and then like for a week before, percent like before that I was under that same bridge. Wow. There's no way to live, man. At right? all. Uh, how long have you been out here on the streets? On the streets, about 11 years. 11 years? Yeah. So you're out here homeless because you're 18 now. So you're out here homeless when you're 11? I don't know. Seven. Nine, seven. Seven. Oh my god, the interview don't know math? Simple math? Basic math? I'm done. Why am I upset about that? Math. I, 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 skipped, I skipped home shit with, uh, shit. Like, abuse shit that I didn't want to deal with. Oh wow. <laughs> Seven months. Well, they put me in a foster care. Like my parents like died in a car crash, and like I'm serious shit. I know it sounds cliche, but it's true. And like the foster parents were abusive, and I just booked it because I was sick of like jumping around like that shit. And yeah, and I made it. I made it to Arizona, Phoenix. Then I hitchhiked for the next couple of years to like Nevada, like. Las Vegas, around their area. Um, and then I hitchhiked to San Fran. Then I went and I uh, trained it, uh, train hop to to Oceanside, and then I metro linked it over to Hollywood. Yeah. Uh, I, I, it, it just it just caught me by surprise that you've been out here since seven years. Yeah. That's crazy. Not a lot of people are out here. Yeah, I've met one other kid, the homeless since five. Yeah, unbelievable. Um, you gotta fight to survive. So how do you survive out here? That's incredible, man. To get to know everybody, but not too well. well. I don't understand why everybody's looking back at the camera. Can y'all just let them talk? Like, do you have anything to say? Are you about to adopt him? People are so nosy. Ugh. Huh. If, you try, if you try to try to be friendly, because you never know when, if you scratch somebody else's back, then they might scratch yours. You know. True. Right. Keep keep good de debts. Like keep your word. Wow. Don't talk shit behind nobody's back. He's I mean, got a lot of principles pretty, to be like much, 18. The schoolyard rules like multiplied though. But why don't you want to get to know too well? I mean, what you said was really. If you if if you're homeless, you're not. You, we're good at blending in because we don't like to be found a lot of the time. Mm. We don't. It, we don't feel comfortable with it. That's interesting. It's just not not you know worth it. So where are you gonna sleep tonight? Shit, if I know. Wow. I don't have a seat bag, I don't have nothing. My shit got jacked yesterday. Yeah, that's what you're saying, all your stuff got stolen. Oh my gosh. Um, what's your future like? Army. I, army. I apply, I, I'm in the like, application process for the army. Really? Awesome. That's cool. Hmm. It's the only way to, the only way to get off these streets. Wow. Get, get some food in your stomach three times oh. a day, seven days a week. 365, and it's the only way to get a bed, you know, so, I mean, shit, you do three years, I mean, if you like it, just stay there. If you had three wishes, what would they be? Hmm. Money, for obviously, to get the fuck off these streets. Uh, I'd have to say two, two would just be like, you know, like, obviously, fuck, I don't really know, you know, I don't think about shit like that, because mm -hmm. on the streets, you don't wish for things, you just wait for them to happen, because mm. you can't control really anything. Right. So, like, I'm sorry to throw off your question like that. Yeah, but, really but like, money is really all he needs right is, now. Especially, in, honest, in, in his mind. Especially if you've been raised on the streets. Yeah, I've been mm -hmm. raised on the streets. Mm -hmm. Like I said, I've been, I've been from Arizona and Nevada mm. all the way down there. I know people in San Fran. I know people in Phoenix. I know people in Las Vegas. Look at the way he I mean, says people it. People that ain't that ain't bullshitters, but you know, like they have a link to it with us. Whether they went through what we went through, or you know, whether they know somebody we know, or you know, I mean, what about the streets? If I had 
give you one piece of advice about being on the streets is make friends and stay the fuck away from anybody you make an enemy. Well, thank you very much for talking to me. Hmm. That's deep, guys. That's so deep. I, I mean, I can't imagine. I mean, I guess it's he's doing a great thing by joining the military, you know, especially because, like, there's so many other routes he could could have went. Like, do you know how many people that are living, you know, like, crazy lives right now? And would, I don't even like the word crazy, but, like, people that are living lives that are, like, getting them in a lot of trouble and stuff. And say blaming it on the fact that they didn't have parents or whatever it is or they didn't have enough at home. And here's this kid that's been homeless since 70. He's like, you know what, I'm just going to join the military because, like, this is my way out. That's unfortunate that that's like the option that he has, but it's like that he's joining for that purpose. But like, at least I'm happy that he's going to be taken care of. Uh, yeah, that was a good video. Thank you guys for requesting it. If you enjoyed it, definitely give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment below other videos that you'd like for me to react to. If you're not a part of our family, definitely subscribe for the Dope is Alive. We are having lots of fun in the playground. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Mwah. Threw me off.